Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are in Harwich today and uh, it's been a very busy day and it's only midday. Already done quite a lot of things but Harwich is a place that is very great and I am here today to show you this magnificent part of the world. Take a look at Harwich. Wherever we live in the world, it's always nice to go a few miles down the road and see somewhere that you've heard about but you don't know about. And Harwich is like one of them places. It's only 15 minutes from Jaywick. You've got the port, you've got the docks, you've got all these great shops. It's another culture, it's another world. Welcome to Harwich, ladies and gentlemen. And this is how I see things. This is why I make films, so to share the places and experiences with people. They can tell me their, their experiences and their places. And together we just make positive talk and we're just sharing good things with each other. And that's what life's all about. I've been doing some charity work this morning, collecting furniture, which I'm going to give to people that need it. So I've had to come to near Dover Court to collect the furniture, to basically donate it to people that deserve it. But that will be coming later. Moment, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Harwich. There it is. We're going to go for a little drive down to the docks now, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to put you on the dashboard. Hope you enjoy this vision, and I hope whatever you do, do. You don't do what I do. And I hope whatever you do, I don't do what you do. People, shine on, enjoy Harwich. And all of that. That's what people want to see. Would you say, I'm not, I'm, that is, I like really but would you? Be, would you be this? Yeah, the premise of you've got to get with someone now, go and find them. Great buildings here. And this is equally as good. And the, Elizabeth Moss's detective, she was in New Zealand in that, in that series. Let's go down for a nice shine on to the now docks, eh? Sydney, Australia, investigating a body washes up on the beach that's been in, in a suitcase. That's the kind of crime element, but it's a really good thing. We're talking much about her life. She gave up her mother, a girl from adoption, when she was 15. And we see what's happened to that person. She's being looked at. Her adopted mother was played by Nicole Kidman, who's like this staunch feminist professor. Jermaine Green. It's fascinating. It's it's kind of unlike anything on TV. And it's that good. It's that good because it's kind of political in a, in a very clever, smart way, and it's gripping because the, the crime drama is incredibly exciting and thrilling. And everyone in it is absolutely brilliant. The relationship between Gwendolyn Christie, who's um, Elizabeth Moss's new partner in, on the show, her new um, detective partner, is so great. Honestly, it's great. And the great thing the BBC Two, BBC Two is doing. So you watch the first episode, and they're putting the rest of the series on iPlayer, Netflix style, mm. that night. So you can binge on the whole thing if you want, or six episodes on Thursday night. Yeah, we, 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 we can echo the point we made in the first hour when you talked about Dunkirk, Baby Driver, and Planet yeah. of the Apes, which is a great time in the film, and it's, it's been a great time in telling for a long time. Nicole Kidman is oh. also in Big Little Lies, which I think is the best show I've seen in the last year. I've seen Big Little Lies my best. Kid well done. Kid well, it's had an incredible year. This is the year of Nicole Kidman, I think. It's incredible relationships. 
Blitz film, and she's in all, doing these great TV projects. She's fantastic in this. It's, it, she's having an unbelievable renaissance in her career. I think. Not sure if it went away, but no. the stuff she's doing is all really, really good. But I would say, if you haven't seen Big Little Lies, yes. I would urge you to seek it out. Yeah. Is, if you're a fan of Joy, if you are, honestly, if you yeah. ask yourself, am I a fan of Joy? If the answer is yes, Big Little Lies. Yeah. It's coming on DVD actually in about two weeks, so yeah. DVDs are still going. Uh, they are still going. Um, well, it's, it's just about one free on the front of Heat magazine. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, boy, yes. <laughs> what's the last thing? Of course, we've got to talk about Game of Thrones, which started last week. Um, the penultimate series. It's on 2 a.m. tonight. Like, I'll be staying up and watching it. The amazing viewing numbers over Two million yeah. people watched it live at 2 a.m. How yes. incredible is that? And I'll be and I'll be watching again tonight. I thought the first episode was fantastic. It set the scene of the of the penultimate series, all the different groups yeah, gathering go, all the for power, seeing where they are. It had a brilliant um, scene with Samuel Tommy, who's my favourite character, in, in the Citadel, his new job. It's a brilliant kind of um, very funny, un-Game of Thrones-like sequence. So I think they're doing bold new stuff in the series as well as the stuff we're used to. And they had that Ed Sheeran cameo, which was a bit weird. Uh, was it not brilliant? Is it generally not very good? It was. It took you out of the uh, out of the story. He's I, gone I, off Twitter because of it. I, right? Well, I think he denied that, but. That was he, it was weird. It got a lot of it got a lot of people attacking him for it, but it wasn't his fault. If you asked to go on Game of Thrones, you would, wouldn't you? It, t- it took me out of the narrative. I would say that, but apart from that, it didn't put it didn't put a foot wrong and was a fantastic opener. And tonight, I feel tonight is going to be an incredibly dramatic and exciting second episode. I, I haven't seen uh, any of that show or Love Island. If you've got to choose one, <laughs> would you choose Game of Thrones? I or think Love so. Island? You've never watched any Game of Thrones, uh, Richard. To, come on, to. you've got to put yourself together. Is that your priorities better, is right? definitely better than Love Island. It's, uh, I, I think, I'll go that far, it's better than Love Island, yeah. 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 I mean, there's it's, just as much... Even sex. the scene, exactly. Yeah. There's just as much... Even the scenes are both bright. Better than there's just as much adult activity. Adult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good, good work. It's Sunday Thank morning. You. Yes. Adult uh, activity. Adult activity. Go no further, boys. No. Uh, Boyd, you're so good at your job. Thank you. Thank you for so recommending you. that. So our three films are Dunkirk, Baby Driver, and uh, War for the Planet War of the Apes. The, the TV shows are Not Love Island. Not Love Island, Game of Thrones, Top of Lake China Girl. Great. Well, who have you got your current Heat magazine? Who's, yeah. on, the, who's on the front of the well, Heat magazine? Well, we've got various people. Beyonce, yeah. um, Bex, usual. Love Island, okay, Entertainment Special, if you're into it. Gosh, that's your mm. mind. <coughs> you went to journalism school, was it? Stuff like that. Huh? Uh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, like someone that stole my place there. Yeah, that's that's life. Thank people you. of our Marvellous. Thank you. Alison Moyer in a few minutes here on BBC Radio 2. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you around Harwich, which has a lot of history during the great British Empire that has spread all around the world. Harwich is a very important part of that because it's a port. So the ships went all around the colonies. So enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. You are in the port of Harwich. So just over here is the port of Harwich. Let's take a look. Dover Court. See that?
So welcome to Harridge, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, shine on, there's a bit of history here. So I've pretty much took you around the whole of Harwich. I've shown you the docks, I've shown you the history. And I hope you've enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen, because everywhere you go, there is history. And everywhere you go, there is a mystery. So get out and explore. Just go 10 miles down the road. Just go five miles down the road. Open your eyes and look within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? I'll say that one more time. Open your eyes and look within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? Shine on everybody. So open your eyes and look within. Are you satisfied with the life you're living? as we come to all these places that are only 10 minutes down the road from where we live. It's best just to get out and free your mind. And here we are in Harwich, ladies and gentlemen, me giving you a guided tour. There's boats are going past. I'm going to take you around Harwich, give you another little tour, ladies and gentlemen. And then uh, we'll take you somewhere else because we are exploring. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. your eyes and look within are you satisfied with the life you're living oh open your eyes and look within are you satisfied with the life that you're living
So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Harwich. Shine on.